All right, we're about to start the video casting that bait, but real quick before we do that, I'm on the boat with my buddy Ryan. You guys know Ryan from my past uh, videos. And he's installing new, new speakers on Chief's little boat right now. The brand new wet sound. We had old raggedy speakers. He's installing them right now. Ryan is a marine electronic here in Jupiter and Stewart. If you guys are in need of any work, electronic work, installing speakers, garments, Ryan is the man for that, and he's one of my good buddies. You might even get a, you might even get a little, a little moving away discount if you hit him up. Little, we'll see, we'll discuss it privately. But I will have his, his Instagram and phone number linked down below. It's Advanced Marine Tech. Check him out for me if you need, if you need help. Let's dive right in the video. Oh, they're on the inside too. Oh my God, they're right. Yeah, these ones are nice out here. Like nice flex. They're all filtered, too. Oh my god, they're solid. Back me up. Just a little bit. How deep are we? All right, stop, stop. What? They might, they might have been too big for the net, for the minnow net. Yeah, dude, they are. They're Ooh. flicking all, yeah, they're, they're big. I was looking at them. Get any? No. It's wow. a minnow. I mean, hold on. They're all right in front of me. This school? No, these school are smaller. I'm gonna get these ones right here. Right. Let me know when. I just, I don't want to throw on this side and then pull into the bridge. Yeah, let me know for those little ones. I'll, I'll let you off on them. They're all balled up for you, dude. Uh huh. What are they doing here? How deep are we right here? I don't know, probably like 15. Big filters, bro. They're big. Yo, let's go on the inside yeah. so we can just back right up to the mangoes every time. And they're greenies. Oh my god, they're rank. Don't, don't. Ready? Go, go, go. Wait. Alright, reverse. I had to, I had to whack that. Just a little steady up, just a little slow. Get right there. Put it in reverse and come grab the GoPro because this is unhealthy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna need a. Uh, can you take the lid off the cooler? Boy, I can't, I can't. You're gonna rip the net. You're gonna rip the net. Stop, 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 stop. We can't. It's too much pressure on the net. Yeah. And then move that trash can. Move the trash can. I don't think you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Ready? Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, we freaking <laughs> smoked them. Look at that nice county in there. Little county for the exotics. Talk about a smoke show, red freaking man. Unreal. I got way too many in one throw. Like I like I can't do I can't do anything. 
got the whole ball, dude. Get those aren't gun drops. Wow. It won't fold up, man. What? It's not gonna fold up. I can't. That was literally one throw, boys and girls. One freaking throw. Beautiful mackerel chum. This is what we're doing. Me and Ryan took Chief's little boat to go net some bait for the winter time to pen up for mackerel. I was actually gonna go to Jupiter, pick up my brother. We we're gonna get some epic footage, but the bait here is solid. I mean, solid, solid. I broke my back on that throw, like literally. So we're gonna get a couple more throws and I think we're done. I mean, it's egregious. Net does not get tangled, does it? Nope, ever. See how often the other net gets tangled in? Yeah. Every throw. Literally, this net doesn't get tangled. Alright. Yo, hey. Chief. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Hope, Hope Sound Bridge. At the Hope Sound Bridge. What? Yeah, they're everywhere. All right, boys and girls, that was the first throw of the day. Or actually, that was the second throw of the day. The first throw, I didn't get him that go because it was too deep. I, I literally filled up half of this cooler with perfect size pilchards and greenies. And what we're doing with these baits is, it's right now it's September. You guys, if you're familiar with the channel, we do a bunch of commercial fishing and mackerel fishing. Macro, commercial Spanish mackerel fishing in the winter time, like December, January, and you have to chum for those fish. And this is what you get, you get pilchards. And I was actually going to Jupiter to pick up Daniel. We were gonna film a sweet video, get awesome B-roll, drone drone footage, get the whole nine. And on the way to Jupiter, look at them, they're literally flicking right here. Look, right there. There's thousands of pilchards. I can't drive past these just to film a video. Gotta, gotta, gotta be prepared. Good thing I had the camera bag with me. I almost told him to take it. And we're, I, all I can get for you is GoPro footage. So drop a like on the video, because why not catch a nice baits? And by the way, this is my 11 and a half foot black pearl cast net. It's a quarter inch mesh. And what's so nice about these nets is it has a built in lead line. It's not exterior leads. So I can smack it. Look, I can smack it all over the gunnel. I can smack it on the deck. It's not gonna scratch up. It's not gonna chip the boat. And we actually have a discount code that you guys can go save 10% off on it's 10 or 15% I'm not 100% sure it's popping up right here our code blackpearlcastnets.com and then you can save money off and it also helps support our channel when you do that I promise you I've thrown a lot of cast nets these are my favorite nets so far they're based out of west coast they're perfect for what we do here I'm gonna set the GoPro back up get loaded back up and we're gonna crush them again one thing I like to do is especially when you're on the boat I oh, can they're so rank at the top. I can throw this look in the them, water look how rank they are dude get it all set up all I'm doing Two hand load here, grabbing it at my waist, splitting the net in half, super simple. Boom, the net's in half, I grab the side close to me, put it in my mouth. Grab the net, watch this pancake, baby. Unreal. Who's that? What? Yeah. Oh 
my god. They're on my boots. Ryan says we're mocking them. Oh, we are mocking them. Um, we need to slush them. I have a bunch of ice at the bottom of this, so what I'm gonna do, keep these baits really nice, just create just a little saltwater slush. All that cold, all that ice is gonna mix in with the cold water and it's gonna float these baits to the top and keep them really nice here. Oh, I forgot I have a plug in this thing. Oh boy. I need something to plug this hole. Oh boy. All right, so I plugged the hole with a couple Ziploc bags and should be good. Close it. You should be good. Yeah. Take your time. I didn't kill him after all. They still got some. Wasn't a crazy throw, but still a good amount of bait and they're perfect size bait. We're gonna get right up right up right back in there in a second here. Beauty, Ryan's gonna just barely put it in reverse so I can close my net. All I'm doing is just barely tucking that net, and right now I can feel him going <laughs> my net. Let you know you got him. Yeah, we're good. Come film it. Oh my god. Look at him. I freaking smoked them, dude. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the horn of the net and let it lay down a little bit so it's easier to unload when I bring in the boat. Let the ledge go down. I can go down a little bit more. So it's right here. Ready, I'm gonna hold this up for a picture. Big guy at heart. Big guy at heart. All right, Ryan's gotta grab Oh. I can't believe how solid they are here. Whoa, what's the deal? Sorry about the noise of the car, but at a bridge, so. You know, it's an ordeal. Look at this, Ryan. I got churds in my poop. This is called a pilchard. A lot of people call them white baits. Very suspect on that. It's called a pilchard. Nothing else. And we're gonna back up. Gum drop. Gum drop. For you, Dylan Nottingham. We're gonna back up a little bit, take a breather, bag up these baits, throw them on ice, fill up the cooler one more time, and head to the house. This is a nice size bait right here. Oh, wow. I can't believe there's not snook busting these like crazy. I know, I don't know what the deal is. Look, all this cold water is gonna keep these baits super nice. They're overflowing. All right, we gotta bag them up. You guys don't see me bag them up. Obvious what we're doing, we'll see you in a second. All right, talk about a bag. Ryan's, on, Ryan's trying to get his bag here. Ryan's chasing pilcher bags. CJ. CJ grab bat, racks out the bag and throw it to freaking red man. Freaking arms duty first. <laughs> Oh, manatee snack? Dude, we haven't made a dent in the cooler. We haven't, dude. Good. <laughs> what is that, number four bag? Or number two? 
Or number three. three. Yeah. Well, four, two, three, yeah. What is that, oh, The bags are vibrating. We do not have enough, dude. Bags? <laughs> not at all. Alright, as you guys can see, Chief didn't supply us with enough bags. Very standard deal here by the Chief. And we literally had, we have a gallon of gas in the boat, right? I don't think we would've Not made it to Jupiter. Yeah, we don't even have a gallon of gas. To be honest with you, I don't think we would've made it to Jupiter from Hope Sound, but... Standard ordeal. Standard, we were, we were just risking it all for the boys. And girls. No discrimination out here in the cut. Oh, that bag is no longer available. Uh, very standard, hold up. All right, you guys get it. We're bagging up eight. We'll see you in a second when we are done. Tell you how many bags we have. We're at like five right now. Chief O just hit us with a serious supply drop. Came to the bridge. Got us some fuel. Because, you know, we ran out. <laughs> Give me a hand, Red Ghost. I need to stick that joint in there. Let me nail this. Oh, a little squirtaceous on me there. Wow. That's all about the nan. <laughs> uh, that's not healthy. All right, we're gonna fuel up, get regrouped here, throw on another another load. Let's do it. We're all set up again. We got fuel in the boat. Got all our bait bagged up. Now I'm loading up again. We're gonna get more. Deal? Yeah, I know maybe I'll show a little tea sneak. I hope the tide didn't make them leave. What is this flat now? Yeah. I still see a couple flicks. All right, so, I mean, it took us a while to pack up all those baits. We had to get fuel. It took us probably an hour, and then the tide slacked off, and those baits completely left. I know I didn't net them all. There was thousands, thousands of pilchers, but got a couple couple more decent throws on them. Probably going to end up with 20 bags of bait. That's not too bad to start the season off. I'm sure we'll be back doing this again. I don't know. Soon. Very soon. Because when the bait's here, you got to get them when it's easy like this. But uh, And maybe we'll get a really good video throwing the net slow-mo drone footage all that but oh let's show them what we got with our bags oh wow you know we're look at look at all this we are laid up we're gonna bag probably another seven or eight and uh head to the house we'll film chief's expression at the house all right we had to like have 25 bags or so chief what do you guys say yeah Petite Malouse, very nice job for you and R the Ride Dog. Props. Even though you won't be Spanish fishing this year, we appreciate your contribution. I told Chief I'm not going to be doing much macro fishing well, this think, year. How long do you think that'll be last? A week. Not yeah, a week. I'm going to try and be a dedicated Pompano fisherman this year. Yeah, Just... You're going to have a jumbo day. He's going to be like, yeah, when are we going? <laughs> they're, they're probably right, to be 100% honest with you. I'll be honest here. Ryan's trying to lay up on a nice dock slot. You know. Standard, standard day. How'd that net do good? So prime. Yeah. Didn't tangle up once. We gotta get, yeah, we gotta get a spare one of those, dude. I'll have to call Sean at so Black Pearl. Thing. We're freezing up these baits. Like I said, probably in December we'll start using them. Hopefully we're gonna get a lot more until then. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. It wasn't the most high quality video, but it's honest work and I had to show you guys. Shout out to the old Rye Dog for staying on his drive game and electronics, keeping me nice on the baits and Chief for keeping the baits nice per use here. The rig. If you guys like the video, go ahead, drop a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and do that. It's free and it really, I really appreciate it, it really would. Also comment if you like the video and go buy a Black Pearl cast net. They are so nice, I, I can't stress enough. They don't tangle, they don't have exterior ledge, you can't bang up the boat. I don't know. I've, I've never had a problem with them. It's honestly unbelievable. It's a dream net, dream net come true. Code popping up right here. Use that checkout. That is all we got for you guys. Till next time, moving weights out.